Hello, Facebook. It is Monday, May 28th, Memorial Day, 2018, and this is a surprise uh, Facebook Live video. Um, today, we are going to look at the box as it is in its pretty much finished state. This is pretty much what you're going to be looking at when the game is done. Uh, we finally have all of the relevant pieces together for the uh, for the final production version of the game, and that includes the tray, all the cards, all the cardboard pieces, and specifically, I want to show off uh, what the pieces look like when they are in the new tray that we have finished. This has been a long time coming. It is a very hefty box. It weighs about four, a little bit over four pounds. It is, it's a dense boy. Um, you are getting a lot of content in a reasonably sized package. It fits inside of a drawstring bag very easily or a laptop bag. It's very easy to transport. Well, let's crack it open. Let's see what's going on inside. So you so you open the game up, you remove the cover, and the first thing you see is this little sheety sheet here that tells you what the contents of the box are and how the game has different decks and how you open them in order. Um, you open the first deck and you can play four players right out of the box. Uh, there's a bunch of pre-made teams and it kind of like tells you what you're doing there so you don't get immediately overwhelmed. Then we got all of these here energy trackers for all of the different commanders in the game. Like that, which is cool. They're all double-sided, just in case you want to bling out your table presence with your favorite character. So 18 commanders represented on 13 of these double-sided guys. Of course we got the rule book, which is perfectly sized for the vertical space in the box. And it's for looking pretty good there. Now here's the cool part. For the last few months we've been delayed because of the plastic tray. Uh, it was just more complicated and time consuming than we thought it was going to be. So you open the box. And the tray has a nice space that holds the board in place. And you can take the board right out. It's this, you know, four player board. You open it up. And you go like this. So you got four player side with the snow field on it. And you can flip it over into the green side. It's two player. And that fits right into the slot. And it keeps everything in the tray all nice in one spot. The other, so now here is the tray. We have uh, spaces for number one, all cards that come in the game, all 128 cards that are sleeved plus some expansion stuff. Um, they all fit in, they, all cards in the game fit sleeved as promised in the box with a little bit of room to spare. So there's three different lots of cards. And you can organize those however you want. There's a little one under here. And it's, we have like a little access thing, makes it pretty easy to get stuff out. So all cards fit nice and right in there. We have this thing over here, which is basically a pit for dice, and it also fits all of the... It fits a lot more dice than you would ever need. But yeah, it also fits all of the uh, terrain pieces in the game, of which they're around like 30 uh, to customize your board with. Perfectly sized for that. And then over here on the top right, we got slots for all of the tokens. Uh, damage tokens, stat tracking tokens, and stuff. Little energy pips. And put them right there, right like this. So yeah, this, these two little uh, rows can fit all the tokens in the game. Or you can put dice in there too, and put the tokens and baggies down here. The game does come with little plastic baggies. Um, for not only tokens, but also these guys. Which are the final sort of standees. Except for the final game, whatchamacallit. Uh... The final game, the final game, the final game has these colored in like six different colors, so you can tell the difference between them. But they are this size, and you can put them, you can put the ones you're not using into these pips, uh, these pits right here that hide underneath the cards. So just in case you don't play six player off, and you can put all your extras in there. 
And then lastly, we have these, these guys. Uh, these slots right here fit all of your robot standees, and there's eight different slots for them. They keep them all nice and organized, and they're not going to fall out and stuff when you're jostling the box around, which is really cool. Um, so that's exciting. And that fits all 100 robot standees with room to spare. That's neato. Now here's my, probably my favorite feature. We're going to put everything back in the box. And we're going to show like, so one of the main features that I wanted to, one of the main things I want to do with this tray is make sure that once you buy the game, nothing, it's easy to, it's easy to open the box, get your stuff out and play the game and nothing gets mixed up and nothing gets all mangled when you're shaking the box around and moving it. So every, all the cards and all of the, all of the cards and all the pieces fit in uh, very nicely. So the board fits like that. This tray fits like a glove in the box. There's like very little shakiness. We had two trays produced, um, one I designed and one uh, another company designed. And it was just like a very long process to actually get those trays done. We ended up going with the initial design through like a series of miscommunications and stuff uh, detailed in the last Kickstarter update. Uh, but it turns out the first design that I made fits the box really well and everything's measured properly. So we're going to hold the box like this and we're going to like that. We're going to shake it all around. You're going to do like this. We're going to, we're going to flip it over and go like that. And you're going to drop it right back on there as if it was jostling in your backpack all day. You're going to open it up and lo and behold, the stuff didn't really go anywhere. The rule book didn't really go anywhere. You open this guy up, and what has actually shifted around? Oh, look at that. It's nothing. Everything in the box is still pretty much exactly as it was. Nothing really got mixed around. Sometimes these little pips will escape and end up, like, over here. Uh, like, one or two of them. But for the most part, this tray is, works wonderfully in terms of keeping the game all nice and organized. Which is super awesome. Um and not messy because you know we all have board games and you put them on the shelf and you take them off the shelf and all of a sudden you see 15,000 tokens everywhere but I wanted to avoid that with this and the tray passes with flying colors which is the best so yeah this uh this game everything is approved we just got word back on the we just got pictures of the dice in the final colored standees um yesterday and it should be entering print like now <laughs> as i've as i've uh, sent in the email replies i'm like please start production now thank you um but yeah it's it's cool this is this is the dream everybody we finished it and uh it will be it will be with you soon and how awesome is that all right so that will be today's stream in terms of uh, content. So if you have any questions, um, feel free to contact us at any time through all various means, Twitter, Facebook, Discord, email, uh, and on Kickstarter too. And I'll post this link in all of those places for people who want to watch the replay. Uh, and then we have a new tabletop simulator demo uh, pretty much all finished and prepped and ready that we will be sending out in the next Kickstarter update. Um, which should be, uh, soon. So, Viva La Aegis, everybody. Have a good one.